Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Um, today, I have with me Zenimus. Zenimist. And he's actually someone that I had to bump up because he was, like, on the queue. Because he was actually someone that was on the old old list. I still remember him. Um, and he's been waiting for quite a long time to spotlight his Dark Moon Flower. So, I'm finally going to do it. I don't think I've d done a Dark Moon Flower spotlight. I can't remember if I did. Um, but I'm going in here with my basic, you know, testing team. I'm just going with this for the for the light lead so they um, get bonus defense. I'm basically going to use these two to keep the team alive. Uh, I'm going to use Dark Thor to armor break. This way we can see the damage of her, you know, on an armor broken target versus um, without an armor broken target. Um, the other thing is I she she's actually on, on Ruined and very, very high crit. Um, it's, it's a crit rate double attack Ruined set. And it's got, I think around, I think this doesn't add up to 100%. It's like around, it's like 99 or something. Or like 99.5, I think. I can't remember exactly. I think I think it needs like 6%. So I think it's like 98, 98.5% crit, which is like very, very close to 100%. So it'll, it, it doesn't really matter. And this is, this is like fucking disgusting, like, he's, he got a dark moon flower with triple square, like, I, I, I'm, I'm just done, you know, I'm like, it's just, you can't get luckier than this. Um, he's got a, she's got two double hunter on both her skills, um, basically increasing her damage by 50%. I think she has a round 3100 base attack, and this one has like a 82, um, 82. 8.2k attack and let's see if there was any crit damage subs on any of these gems mm, maybe there's some attack subs oh there's a 20 percent attack sub on this uh on this crit rate gem that's why the attack's so high all right this this thing's gonna be a beast like this is this this damage is gonna be insane all right <laughs> let's do this Someone asked me a few days ago, like, what this little cord is. It's it's the cord to my my headphone. Um, I have it like stretched over from the front. This way, like, it's it's hanging and like my hands don't accidentally like knock anything over. All right, I'm gonna stop the I'm gonna stop the auto and we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna do moonflower against moonflower. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna armor break this. Actually, wait, let's let's try without armor break. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh shit! That was so close to a one shot. Oh, so close. If if there was an attack lead, this thing would be dead for sure. That was like 17k a hit. That was three hits of 17k. Like holy shit! There's, I don't think there's a single monster in the game that has like more damage than the Dark Moonflower on their first kill. Like it's just it's just so much damage. Alright, I'll hit this armor broken moonflower next. With with this moonflower. Alright, let's let, let's fuck her up. This is gonna do so much damage. Holy shit! 30k a hit! That was that was 90k. That was 90k on an armor broken unit with a with single skill. Like, I swear in PvP. If you armor break something and just hit it with a moonflower, I think it's dead. It's just dead in one turn. Um, unless it's like a fire Odin with a fire Odin lead, then maybe not. Oh man, that was that was intense. All right, let's 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 hit this uh, this minnow again. This should definitely one shot. That was 20k a hit. This thing's got lower defense. Right, let's see if we can get a full bar soon, and then we can t we can test some things out. I'll put up the shield just to be safe. Um, we'll try it on the B. I think the B has higher defense. Let's let's hit the B without armor break first, and then like we'll hit it again with armor break. All right, that was 17k as well. Um, pretty close. Not too bad at all. All right, let's 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 armor break the speed. All right, this is this should this should do quite a lot of damage. Maybe not exactly 30k. Maybe I'll do 30k. 
We did 32k. Alright, I think the bee has lower defense than the moonflower. Maybe it has more HP. I remember the bee being tankier. I, I, I can't remember exactly. Alright, next next wave we're gonna we're gonna do her AoE, alright? Oh dang, this thing's so fucking beast. Like it she has triple score. That's why you can put such good gems on her. Okay, let's uh let's um Oh, we can do a damage comparison between these two. So I'm gonna armor break him. And then I'm gonna use the Moonflower's AoE, and this should probably kill everything in one in one shot. I think. I think it should. It probably should. Ooh, holy shit. That was three hit. That was like 39k on the armor bro broken one. Oh, uh, so close. It almost killed the B. If there wasn't a crit damage or an attack lead, the, the B would be dead for sure. This is so much damage. How do you... How do you get a triple square Dark Moonflower? That's... That's so broken. I'll oh, see if we can armor break the boss. This is gonna like chunk the boss so hard. Holy shit! Oh man, oh man, this is beautiful. Oh my god, he put attack down on me. You know, I think I think we can still kill this side thing even with attack down. This is an attack down moonflower. Still doing 17k hits. This move is so strong. That that crit ruin gem with 20% attack is is extremely sick. Like doesn't doesn't get more disgusting than that. Wait, what the fuck? It, does it does it Is it just me or does this look sped up? Does does it feel like the golem just sped up? Wait, what the heck? Do you feel like it's he's moving faster? Oh shit! Wait, my my moon the, the moonflower might might die from this. Let me uh let's kill this side unit this turn. I think this AOE should be able to kill it. This is with the attack down, but I think uh I think we'll do enough damage maybe. Still 20k hits, not not too bad. Without the attack down, I should probably do like 38 to like 40k per hit. Aw, oh, man, they silenced me. Sorry, right, I got another heal ready for her. Alright, we'll just kill this side thing. We'll hit the boss with the attack down. Okay, the boss is a little bit tanky, but it's, it's fine. Let's try to armor break the boss. Oh my god, stop putting the attack down on, on, on the Moonflower. Still doing a lot of damage, even with the attack down. Alright, I'm gonna try to armor break him. I don't think this will kill the boss. Uh, or I'll hit him one more time, and then hopefully the next turn I can land, land an armor break, because he's about to die. He is so close to dying. I think if I armor break him, hit him with these two, and then use the Dark Moonflower's AoE, it should be able to kill him. Let's try this out. Ah oh, man, so sad. Alright, I think I think the boss can survive one more turn. Okay, he's definitely dead this turn. And we'll we'll let her do the honors. Uh, please don't silence me. Oh my god, I can't I can't do the uh Can't do the AoE now. Too bad. Well, he kept resisting the armor break. There's nothing I can do. Let's uh, let's let her do the honors and finish up this uh, this golem. Damn, she does so much damage. Holy shit! Can you imagine if he had like two dark moonflowers? You could literally beat any 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 team in PvP. Cause like first turn, you just you just kill something. That's it. And then it's like end of story. You're done. You just use two units to kill one unit.
And then for your other two, like, you can either bring some support or you just bring, like, two more dark attackers. Or if you have, like, four dark moonflowers, it's, it's just GG. You don't need anything else. And they even have the HP lead to make them, like, themselves, like, somewhat tanky. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you want me to do a monster spotlight for your monster, PM me on Discord. Because I... It's, it's hard to keep track if you, like, comment... Do a monster spotlight on YouTube. I can't. Are you kidding me? He's gonna go for it. They win the round. He go fix up a triple H. That was not supposed to go off. My my OBS is fucked up. Like it, that that was not supposed to go off. I wasn't even in the stream view. I was in the recording view. Um, but anyways, if you want me to do a monster spotlight, PM me on Discord. It's a lot harder to like keep track of people that comment on YouTube. But if you PM me on Discord, I'll add you to the official Monster Spotlight queue. You'll see it on my Discord channel, it's at the top, where all the notifications are. There's like a Monster Spotlight queue. And then if you click in, you can see who's, who's, uh, what's going to be coming up next um, in my Monster Spotlight videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.